Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. A quick look at a souvenir knife for the 1972 Olympics. I thought I'd take a few minutes to show off my um, my Munich souvenir knife. This is for the 1972 Olympics and it features the uh, Olympic Tower uh, which stood at 290 meters tall and right there you see the uh, if I can get it to focus I'm gonna have to back out a bit that's the um, the uh, city crest for the uh, city of Munich Germany and obviously you see 1972 on this scale the knife is by MI Germany and obviously just says Rostfrei above that. I don't know a whole lot about the company MI Germany. What I do know is that there are other knives um, stamped MI Germany British Zone which were older than these and they were made in solid in Germany. So I'm guessing it's the same company. I don't know what MI stood for or anything else. I'm still trying to find that out. So if you know, you could definitely share that with me. It's just a little oil on the blade there. Um, let's look at the back tools first and I'll compare them to a Spartan. And uh, you see this is the punch and it's not sharp at all, but it's uh comes to a nice point. It's uh, four sided, no sewing hole. And the only gash there is for your uh, nail nick. If we look at the, this is a 1980s uh, Spartan. So a few years later and we see the the uh, edge here but that dates back into the uh, 70s and so this uh, reamer can definitely cut things as opposed to this reamer and they're both about the same length we should also show if we notice here this one's a little thinner uh, quite a bit thinner actually but you notice that little knock there, which basically shows that it is using the same uh, floating asymmetrical spring that uh, is common in uh, Swiss Army knives. We'll look at the corkscrew. We know this is the, uh, the Swiss Army one with the four turns and the little groove in it. And this one is, looks a little, pretty hard to open, very tight much smaller if we can see the two next to each other it's, um, let's see if I can do this you can see it's a much tighter wind much smaller uh, corkscrew I think it would still pull a bottle if you were to get the cork into uh, or get the screw into the cork but it's a, a much tighter wind and a much smaller corkscrew but still it's a it's it's functional and there's no wobble or anything to it you also notice it has a bale on the end here. This is from 1972, and uh, Swiss Army knives were still using a type of bale at that time too. They had not moved on to the uh, this. Uh, not all of them had moved on to a key ring yet, so um, the bale would have been kind of common in 1972. Um, cap lifter uh, bottle opener. I'm sorry cap lifter screwdriver and the one on the Swiss Army knife is located on the opposite end but you can see it's substantially uh, a much better screwdriver uh, both of them would probably open up a beer bottle with no problem I think the Germans know how to open up a beer bottle uh, obviously no wire cutter as for the uh, can opener totally a different type of can opener this is really the old style uh, claw type can opener where you just have to jam it into the can and then start rocking it back and forth as opposed to the better can opener that you'll find on a Swiss Army knife and uh, with the uh, addition of a small screwdriver um, but still kind of a it's nice that there is a can opener there. Uh, not the world's greatest type, but 
really was a souvenir knife. Now, one thing uh, that's of interest is no reason to pull out the uh, pin blade on the Spartan because this knife does not have a pin blade. Let me get that to focus. You notice I've opened it up, there's no pin blade there. We just have the main spear blade. And when we compare that to the spear blade on the Spartan, let me try and get those holding them. Uh, that's not an exaggeration there. The blade is a little bit bigger. It's got a little more uh, thickness to it and it is also slightly longer. If we do it this way, you'll see here, I'm pressing right against it. The blade comes in at two and three quarter inches. Oops, let's get it up here. We can get that. Two and three quarter inches compared to the uh, Swiss Army knife where the blade length comes in at a little under that, probably closer to two and five eighths inches. So the blade is about a uh, eighth of an inch longer. And the reason it can do that is because the, uh, the blade um, doesn't have to share its uh, channel with the, uh, with the pin blade like the Spartan does. Because of that uh, pin blade there, you have to have a little, a slightly shorter blade on the, uh, the main blade here. Uh, slightly shorter so that you have room for that pin blade to operate. This one has no pin blade. So you have the full length of the uh, channel there for the uh, for the Spearmaster blade to drop. So no Spearmaster blade, I'm sorry, no pin blade for a slightly longer uh, Spearmaster. But this is really what uh, got me interested in the knife to begin with when I was picking it up. And that was just the, uh, the thing that it's com commemorating the uh, 1972 Olympics in Munich. And everyone knows that was a very historic event for, well, there was tragedy there and so many other things that uh, that happened with the 1972 Olympics. It was the first time the Olympics came back to Germany since 1936, for one thing. Um, and then there was the, uh, the terrorist attack there too, so. And I was, happened to be in Germany and, uh, you know, when you get a 1972 Munich, Germany, uh, Swiss Army like knife, why wouldn't you pick it up? So that's what I have here. It's nice. I'm kind of happy with it. True, it's not a true Swiss Army knife, uh, but it's pretty darn close and uh, the quality of the build is pretty good too. And uh, when you consider the uh, solid in Germany and the knife capital of Germany, you really cannot expect uh, Germany in 1972 to offer a knife made in Switzerland to commemorate such a historic German event. So that's what you got here. Thanks for watching. Okay, just a very quick slideshow of uh, the major features of the knife. Here is the uh, crest I was talking about. And these are the specs on the knife. Uh, it is 91 millimeters, just like the uh, Spartan. And those are the uh, blades on it. And here is the tank stamp I was talking about. Again, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for dropping by. And remember, you're only as sharp as your knife.